Okay, my friends, picking up where we left off last time. Now, last time we spoke about tracking our macros and our food intake for a week or two to better see, learn, and understand uh, the macronutrient breakdown of protein, carbs, and fats, thus the total calories that we are eating, creating some awareness. Now, where we're going with this is we're going to want to, over time, manipulate those macros probably lowering the carbs and the fats to some extent while keeping the protein high to spare the muscle tissue. Now, we're not going to rush or jump right to that. There's a step that we need to talk about before we actually go to that step, and that is the actual food composition that we are eating or optimizing our food composition. A really simple example you know, I could share is, let's say my daily carbohydrate goal was 300 grams. Now, ideally, I'm getting that from the most nutrient-dense sources, vitamins, minerals, fibers, things like that, opposed to, say, most of my carb sources came from things like candies, sweets, or sodas. That's all sugar and nothing else. And real quick, something to consider during a a fat loss diet is health. It is a big deal. We are impinging on the immune system when we lower our calories. It's been shown that when you lower your calories for an extended period of time, the, um, the immune system takes a little bit of a hit. It's not great for the immune system because the immune system operates on a certain thorough put. And if we constrain that, the system does not operate as well. So something to keep in mind there with your immune system during a caloric deficit. Now, on top of that, choosing the right foods is going to help our uh, curb our hunger levels. It's going to lower them. And this is a big deal. If you eat mostly a junk food diet on, on, on trying to lose weight, it's so energy dense and palatable, meaning it's delicious. You, you go to eat one Reese's cup and it turns into five or six. We've all been there. Better food choices are going to help fill you and increase your compliance with your plan, getting you towards your goal. Because one of the number one reasons that most people fall off the wagon with their plan is they get hungry and they just eat foods that are tasty, um, l- high calorie, low nutrient density. A better target being that we're already eating foods that fill us and don't leave us feeling hungry or starved. And you can still be in a caloric deficit and lose the intended fat with the right foods. Because guys, you have to be in a slight deficit to lose the weight. The amount of food that we're likely currently eating is either having us gain weight or sustain our current weight. So yes, we have to lower things slightly. And eating the right foods are going to help fill us. A lot of these foods are also going to help increase our energy levels, which is good when you're lowering your total food consumption. That's super important with things like fitness, work, kids, productivity, all the demands of life that we have, it's a really good idea to focus on food composition as our energy levels are extremely important. So let's dive in. Some protein sources real quick. A good idea for most people is that these sources come from lean meats, lean dairy products, and high quality vegan sources uh, as well. Now, carbohydrate sources, vegetables, real good idea here. Fruits, the fresher the better, and whole grain carbohydrate sources. And fats, mostly monounsaturated fats. These are some of the best for health. Things like olive oils, avocado oil, uh, nut butters, avocado itself. They're tasty and they help support performance, health, and energy levels along with fat loss. So far, we've talked about tracking and we're still tracking. And now we're going to start to tinker with the actual food composition, starting to slowly improve those choices. More healthy food and less processed and junk food. Now, I didn't say remove it completely. Just more of the right, less of the less ideal. Replace the pizza at lunch with healthy sources like lean chicken breast, some brown rice, vegetables, and a dab of olive oil. And you might even realize when you do things like this, wow, I can't even eat all this this food initially. That's because junk food is the easiest food to eat and to overeat. Empty calories, 
low nutrient profile because the nutrient density in the food, the, the right foods is going to help fill you and fuel you properly. That's super important. In our next video, we're going to talk about altering the macros to get the best possible results. We'll see you then.